Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about the five ways you can age your whiskey. So let's get into it. So before we jump in with these techniques, I want to talk a little bit about uh, terms. So there are actually three different terms when we're talking about aging spirits, and it can get a little confusing because um, some folks within home distilling want you to be very specific about it and some people don't mind if you're just very general about it and so i'm going to talk about these just a little bit just so that you're aware of the differences in the terminology so when someone says um, they're aging uh, their spirit or let's just use whiskey as an example uh, i have an aged whiskey now if you want to get specific, what that means is it has sat in a barrel for an extended period of time and the whiskey is a different product now than it was when it went in. It's smoother because of the time. It has another color. It has um, uh, new flavors imbued in within the whiskey. And so that's aging and that can also be uh, termed barrel aging. So another term is oaking. A lot of people will use the term oaking when they're referring to using sticks, oak sticks or spirals or chips or staves and they're not putting it in a barrel. And so the reason is because uh, you are adding flavor and you are adding color but you are not adding time. So the ability to smooth out that whiskey uh, is, is diminished because of the time. Um, also, another term is rapid aging. And to be real honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what people mean by that because there are a lot of other techniques that involve funky stuff and uh, nuclear reactors and I don't know what all, I'm, I'm making that shit up, but like other techniques microwaving it and uh, using ultrasonic sound waves and freezing temperatures and a lot of different things that I don't know anything about any of that stuff. had never tried any of it. Uh, but I think that's what uh, they're talking about when they say rapid aging. I, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to say aging for the rest of this video. I fall under the discussion that you can say aged whiskey to me and I, I'm okay with it. If you say that you use sticks or chips or spirals uh, or a barrel, it's, it's okay with me. I know what you mean and it's, I, I keep things simple as you guys know. So all that being said, let's get into these five techniques. First off, the premium technique is the oak barrel. So uh, nothing quite matches up as far as smoothness and flavor when you're talking about aging a whiskey. Um, so there are differences when it comes to the size of the barrel, the time frames that you leave it in. The smaller the barrel gets, the quicker it ages. And that has to do with surface area in relation to the volume of liquid. Um, there are things to consider when you're talking about the barrel aging process. Uh, you have to prep the barrel. There's a certain uh, process for getting a barrel ready. Uh, when you store the barrel, you can't store it empty. You need to store it with uh, water in it um, and th different ways to condition the barrel, things like that. And I'm going to do a whole separate video about oak barrel maintenance. Um, there's a lot of places to buy oak barrels online. Uh, especially in the U.S. I'm not familiar with the rest of the world, but a lot of choices out there. In fact, I've got a couple of reviews that I'm going to be doing, uh, this being one of them, and uh, another from another company. And then we also have decided to start offering barrels on our website, Still in the Clear. So if you want to check that out, go check that out. Um, now, my next choice, if I'm not going to barrel age, what I would like to do is uh, use oak sticks. And the advantage to having oak sticks is that it's as close as you get to a barrel without being in a barrel. Um, they're, they're thick and bulky and um, 
it's seasoned oak. You can toast it and char it in whatever way that you want. Um, and that's my second choice. We, we offer these on stillintheclear.com also. And I'll put links down in the show notes for all that. I'm also going to be doing a video coming up um, with uh, how to toast your oak if you want it toasted and how to char it if you want it charred. And there is a difference. And there's specific heat ranges and time frames to get certain flavor profiles. And I'm going to do a video on that also. Uh, my... My third choice would be oak stave. Basically an oak stave is just a part of a barrel. So the barrels are made um, with these vertical pieces of oak and those are the staves. And so you can get a stave that once was, um, you know, an oak barrel that held a bourbon. And so you're, that oak is going to be infused with the flavor of that bourbon that was aged in that barrel. So that's an advantage if you're looking for something like that to pass on some flavor into your spirit. Uh, a lot of guys will take an old wine barrel and then they'll age their whiskey in a wine barrel uh, to get that uh, those other kind of complexities of flavors uh, when they're experimenting with what they want to make. So uh, that would be my third choice is the oak stave. My fourth choice would be the oak chip. And uh, I've got a bag of Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips right here. And you can get these, uh, you know, like on Amazon um, and different places. Typically, wherever they're selling uh, barbecue supplies. So... Uh, because that's what most that's what most people use them for is smoking meat things like that and these chips uh, work much faster uh, than the barrel sticks or staves because of this again it's the surface area you will color and you will flavor your spirit very quick with chips you can also toast and char the chips again I'll refer to that video that's going to be re released real shortly uh, on how to toast and char oak but you can do that to chips also and it speeds up the process quite a bit uh, and then lastly and just because it's last doesn't mean it's in any good it's just my last choice among all these other choices is the oak spiral and the oak spiral is another very quick process to color and age your whiskey or your spirit uh, because of surface area, again, the spiral has all these, all this extra surface area. You can also get these infused with flavors like caramel, and I can't remember what all I've, what all I've seen these flavored with. But they, you can get them infused with different flavors, and very. So here you're talking about uh, a time frame of days to weeks, okay? Same with this, days to weeks. Something like this or the staves, you're talking about weeks to months. And then uh, when you're talking about barrels, months to years. So as you can see, the um, even though the barrels are preferred, it may not be what you can do. Maybe you don't have months and years. Maybe you uh, maybe you want to get something done a little bit quicker and there's nothing wrong with that. I highly suggest that you uh, try all of these out and, and see what you can create with all of them, especially toasting and uh, charring. Uh, try some of that on your own. If not, like I said, the, at least the sticks, uh, we, sell, we sell them seasoned like this and then you can get the same amount uh, in a number three char and then we're soon going to be selling... Uh, light, medium, and heavy toasted oak sticks also. So if you want to pick them up from us, of course, we appreciate the business. Uh, but that's your rundown. Don't forget how to toast and how to char your oak is coming up. In fact, if it's already out by the time you're watching this video, I'm going to put it here or here, one or the other. So that's it. We will see you on the next one.